we're primarily interested in solving what we call the capacity challenge. There's amazing growth in chronic illness. Uh, you can pick the one that you're uh, happy to look at, and they're all growing rapidly. Tremendous growth in the demand for healthcare services, and yet no real growth in the provider uh, industry. So we look at technology as an opportunity to help solve that capacity challenge. Connected Health is about bringing care to the patient, where the patient is, when the patient needs it. Connected Health is about making you your own primary care doctor whenever possible. And Connected Health is also about bringing the doctor to the patient, not the other way around. And these are all ways that we can improve quality as well as improve the efficiency of healthcare delivery. Remote monitoring is a tool. I, I want to emphasize that that really has to be put in context to be powerful. The actual monitoring itself, there's, there's been a lot of uh, good work to show that that's not particularly helpful as a tool. It's just information. And like with any other information solution, information has to be done or, or presented in context. In the case of the technologies we use, we have four design principles that we use to design programs. The first is that accurate physiologic information that one gets from either a sensor or some kind of device that's tracking a symptom or some kind of technology. We really believe that that accuracy is important. The second uh, design principle is sharing that information with the patient or the employee in an environment that they can relate to it, that they can understand its impact on their health and how they can use that information to improve their health. The third component, which is maybe the most important we're learning, is having some sort of coaching environment surrounding that data. So it's very powerful when not only do you have access to something about your health, but a coach, someone that you know has access and is going to be reminding you of your goals, also has that information. We find that that really increases engagement, that really increases uh, individuals' involvement with these programs. And then the fourth principle is, of course, we do occasionally need to involve a healthcare provider. And one of the things we're interested in is making sure that we provide the right information to that provider at the right time in order to get that right care decision made in a timely way. Getting care decisions made just in time is another way of improving quality and improving efficiency. When we go out and talk to employers, we hear that they're frustrated with their ability to manage uh, health behavior change. They're frustrated with their ability to improve the health of their uh, workforce. Uh, they're not really convinced that the current programs that they're getting are meeting those needs for them. And we have tools that can really change that. Uh, I, I think an example that really makes sense is our SmartBeat program. This is a program that uses uh, blood pressure monitoring technology as a tool to help individuals with high blood pressure understand their illness better and improve their blood pressure control. And we ask those employees to put their uh, to take their blood pressure uh, three times a week, and uh, it gets uploaded by a little modem device to the internet, where we capture it and then present it back to them in a context that has decision support and rules to give them the messaging that's required to give them insight as to how their lifestyle and diet is affecting their pressure. We just completed a trial of that tool with uh, the employer EMC using it as an employee benefit. And the engagement rates were quite staggering. Of 400 people in the program, less than 1% dropped out. And we were able to show that for those individuals on the program that they logged an average of three blood pressure readings a week and visited their own personal website once a week, which is really striking engagement for a six-month program, perhaps unheard of in the industry. That's an example of how these technologies not only improve the employee's involvement in their health, but the employer's ability to understand the impact of a program on their population.
When we introduced the Smart Beat program at EMC, we got really astounding feedback from a number of their employees. Uh, some called it among the best benefits that they had been offered at EMC. And what they tell us is that the ability for them to interact with these readings, to understand their blood pressure, to be able to learn how uh, it's affected by their lifestyle choices is really a powerful tool for them. Of course, they can print their readings out and bring them to their doctor. They can interact uh, using this uh, information with their doctor in a new way as well because it's more information for the doctor to make higher quality decisions about their care. What these tools do is they draw patients into their care in a way that really gets them much better and much more involved. It also prepares them for an office visit if they are going to have one because they're equipped with a lot of information. They understand it. They understand nuances about their care plan and their behavior that they didn't before entering a program like this. And there's always the opportunity in many of our programs for the provider and the patient to be communicating online. This opens up a, a whole new world because right now if you need follow-up care, you get put into the schedule when the doctor has time to see you. But with a program like Connected Health, you can get follow-up care just in time. We've had a lot of patients, for instance, with diabetes that get started on insulin and their providers will titrate them quite rapidly because they get their daily blood sugars, they know how the blood sugar is being affected by the medicine, they have diet input, et cetera, and they can bring someone under control much quicker than they would in the standard come back in a month and let's see how you're doing office environment. In terms of new models of care, Connected Health is a perfect match. Uh, in fact, I would go as far as to say in the current model of care, fee-for-service reimbursement, it doesn't fit all that well. It's disruptive to that model of care. So when we look at any of a number of payment reform uh, strategies, pay for performance, we're already having experience with that and doing well. Uh, um, the type of reimbursement that they use in the medical home is, is a uh, management fee paid to the practice. This fits very well in that context. We have experience with that at the Mass Journal as well, having done a Medicare a demo using a management fee structure, and we, we in Connected Health contributed to the success of that program. And a number of other payment reform, the, the thing that ties these payment reform strategies together is that people are starting to pay for quality and outcomes, and Connected Health is a perfect tool in that kind of environment.